Thanks for joining me for today's Louisiana Young Reader's Choice book teaser, where we give you a quick taste of one of the nominated titles. Today, I want to introduce you to The Night Diary by Vera Hiranandani. 12-year-old Nisha receives a diary for her birthday this year. Her twin brother, Emil, is outgoing and artistic, but shy, quiet Nisha struggles to speak and to make friends. Nisha finds comfort in writing to her deceased mother every night, but soon her diary becomes a record of the violence and confusion that is erupting in her country. It is 1947 and India has gained its independence from Britain only to be split in two, a new Muslim country called Pakistan and the primarily Hindu country of India. Half Muslim and half Hindu, Nisha and her family are caught in the middle. Will they have to leave their home in Mirpur Kaf? Will Nisha be separated from her family cook and dear friend Kazi? Can Nisha finally find her voice and a place where she belongs? You'll have to read to find out. This book also includes a helpful glossary in the back, as well as so many lovely descriptions of Indian food, you'll want to learn to cook just like Nisha. So here is your quick taste of The Night Diary. July 14, 1947. Dear Mama, I know you know what happened today at 6 a.m. 12 years ago. How could you not? It was the day we came and you left. But I don't want to be sad today. I want to be happy and tell you everything. I'll start at the beginning. You probably already know what I'm telling you, but maybe you don't. Maybe you haven't been watching. I like turning 12 so much already. It's the biggest number I, I've ever been, but it's an easy number, easy to say, easy to count, easy to split in half. I wonder if Emil thinks about you on this day like I do. I wonder if he likes being 12. We woke up at a little before seven. Emil and I usually sleep through our birth minutes. And then when we wake up, we stand next to the last mark we etched into the wall with a sharp rock. No one else knows it's there. I do it for a meal and he does mine, and then we compare how much we've grown since last year. Emil has finally caught up with me. Papa says someday Emil will tower over all of us. That's hard to imagine. Papa gave me her old chain with a small ruby stone hanging from it. He started giving me the jewelry when I was seven. Now I have two gold bangles, two gold rings, small emerald and gold hoop earrings, and the ruby necklace. Papa said I should save the jewelry for special occasions, but lately there are none, so I wear all the jewelry at once and never take it off. I don't know where he keeps all of it, but each year on my birthday, another piece appears at my bedside in a dark blue velvet box with gold trim. When you open it, the blue satin lining winks back at you. Papa always asks for the box back after I take out the jewelry. Secretly, I want the box more than the jewelry. I want it to be all mine and never have to give it back. I could find any old thing, a pebble, a leaf, a pistachio shell, and put it in the box. Like magic, these things would get to be special at least for a day. Maybe he'll let me have it when your jewelry runs out. I want to tell you about this diary I'm writing in. Kazi gave it to me this morning wrapped in brown paper tied with a piece of dried grass. He never gives me gifts on my birthday. I once read an English story where a little girl got a big pink cake and presents wrapped in shiny paper and bows for her birthday. I thought about the little gifts Kazi gives us all the time. Pieces of candy under our pillows, or a ripe tomato from the garden, sliced, salted, and sprinkled with chili pepper on a plate. Cake and bows must be nice, but it is anything better than a perfect tomato. The diary is covered in purple and red silk, decorated with small sequins and bits of mirrored glass sewn in. The paper is rough, thick, and the color of butter. It is not lined, which I like. I never had a diary before. When Kazi gave it to me, he said it was time to start writing things down and that I was the one to do it. He said someone needs to make a record of the things that will happen because the grown-ups will be too busy. I'm not sure what he thinks is going to happen, but I've decided I'm going to write in it every day if I can. I want to explain things to you as if I'm writing a storybook, like the Jungle Book, except without all the animals. 
I want to make it real so you can imagine it. I want to remember what everyone says and does, and I won't know the ending until I get there. Remember that when you read three of the books from the grades six through eight list, you'll be eligible to vote for your favorite to win the 2020-2021 Louisiana Young Reader's Choice Award. This year, the Jefferson Parish Library is also offering a special lyric challenge with a $25 Amazon gift card raffle. You can register at jplibrary.beanstack.org. Thank you.